Wow, 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 wow. I have, first of all, definitely using a filter because I took off all my makeup <clears throat> during that live, that Up and Atom live. I also, I even made popcorn. Okay, I ate it all before the live started. <sighs> I feel like I just worked out or like I did drugs. I literally like, I feel exhausted and I cannot believe what we just witnessed. Oh my God. Okay, okay. The first crazy thing, <laughs> the first crazy thing was allegedly, all of this is alleged, Victoria said that Billy Lee told Victoria that Kyle Chan tried to drug Tom Sandoval and take advantage. <laughs> Jenny, yes. Oh my God, Emily. Pumped up tea. We all deserve to be compensated. I agree. Oh my gosh. Wait, what happened? Okay. Whew. At 830. Actually, I got into the live chat on YouTube for on Up and Adam because he said he's going to go live with Kyle Chan and Victoria Lee Robinson, Tom Sandoval's girlfriend. And this is after Billy Lee has been spilling all the tea on her podcast, on her Instagram. She said that Victoria has, well, that Tom Sandoval started drinking when he started dating Victoria and that Tom started, they, they would be doing drugs all the time and sleep all day and not even eat. And Victoria is allegedly addicted to us. <laughs> like Bravo, Bravo content creator account. Oh my gosh. And Billy was just going off and saying all these things over the last couple of days. So... Adam had Kyle, Chan, and Victoria on, and it was live. Oh, my God. That is ballsy on all accounts for everyone involved. I don't do any live interviews. I think I've done two live interviews. One was with Ryan Bailey, who joined... The live stream late. I was like, oh my God, he missed all of this. <laughs> the live chat was popping off. You couldn't even read fast enough. I was like, I can't, I can't consume all of this. It was so fun. It was like better than any club I've ever been to. <laughs> Summary, the most chaotic thing I've ever seen. <clears throat> From, okay, I'll tell you my personal opinion. You can, you can go watch it too. I put the link in my Instagram stories. But, and it's up on Up and Adam's channel. But I, I always want to give people the benefit of the doubt. And I feel bad because with Victoria, she just was giving off the energy that Billy Lee described and I don't want to like make accusations but you guys know what I mean I think oh my gosh yeah the boobler what did Kyle do to Tom what are they saying like how did Tom try or how did Kyle try to take advantage of Tom like in a sexual way or like financial way or like taken his batteries and pens that's the culprit that's the whole reason that ariana and tom are broken up now can billy lee and kyle chan both be right yeah i do think so okay wait i have to say what the big things were okay so that the first big bomb was allegedly <clears throat> billy lee told victoria that Kyle Chan tried to drug Tom Sandoval to take advantage of him. The second big thing was they said that Billy Lee wanted Tom Sandoval's sperm. 
and to have a baby with Tom Sandoval and have the baby have Tom's last name. I have so many questions. So many questions. What? <laughs> Why? Okay, now we need to get into... Oh, God. I need like a... I need an expert. Because I can't speak to like this situation. I don't know. I, I don't know. But... Ugh. Why would anyone want Tom Sandoval's sperm? Sanderfall. Billy Lee wants a baby Sanderfall. <laughs> I mean, I can see that like maybe some of that is true, but why? I don't. It makes no sense. Where is the egg coming from? There has to be an egg. And also, this is why I am an advocate for cloning instead of having children. I think that's how we evolve as a human species in modern times. Because what is evolution now? Dirty, unhealthy sperm, someone said. Annie had a low count. Oh, imagine like the one that made it. Oh, no. oh my gosh, T. So T was on, oh my God. <laughs> crazy. Billy Lee was in the live stream. T was in the live stream. T was basically calling Victoria a liar. Told said like go to co I, I took screenshots. Um it was insane. Yes, pumped up T. The way Kyle went back to the trans card anytime he had nothing else to say was astounding. Yeah, it wasn't good. Stone Jenny is actually reading between my stone thoughts right now. <laughs> Yo, it was wild. It was, there were like over 3,000 people watching live. Please read the screenshots. I wonder if I could like share them. <gasps> I can? Stop it. Oh, I didn't know I could do this. Okay, what's this one? I'm going backwards. Why? Um, now I can't read it because of the comments. <laughs> okay, let me let me check my kids. Choose different asset. Okay, okay, okay. What's this one? I'm going to the first one. Billy Lee. She she said, "Oh hell no!" She called him like five times that night. He had to go upstairs and fight with her about it. That was when Victoria said. Oh, when Billy Lee said that I pulled up my car behind hers, left the door open. That's what she was referring to. Victoria could not articulate that herself, but I'm pretty sure that's what they were talking about. Victoria denied those claims. And this is where Billy Lee is saying, oh, hell no, that definitely happened. Oh, my God, this is so cool. I didn't know I could do this. Okay, let me go to the next one. What's on this one? Billy Lee. She literally wanted him out of the guest room. Where would he go? The garage? So she, Victoria was saying like, because Billy had alleged that Victoria is the one who wanted Tom to move out of the guest room and go into Ariana's room. That's why they wanted to move all her stuff. They called Logan, allegedly. We need to hear from Logan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So Victoria was saying like, yeah, I didn't want him to stay in the guest room, but she didn't say like where she wanted him to go, I guess. What else? Oh my God. This show is wild. All right. That's the second one. <laughs> this is, I think I took a screenshot because I was like, what? Kyle has tried to drug Tom and take advantage of him. They literally said that. And it's so crazy to me because nobody in the world thought that until this live stream. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my gosh. What else? 
Oh, yeah. And then they were talking about having cameras. I guess there's cameras in the house. Victoria begged Tom to, like, record things so they could catch Billy Lee. Because Billy Lee was the one of, I don't know, they, like, turned the tables. I don't know if they said that Billy Lee tried to do that. I don't think so. But they said just, she's like, make sure you record. And she was trying to make it sound like she was, they like got Billy Lee on camera, but then the cameras weren't even recording. So what the hell? It was like pointless to even bring it up. Okay, where am I at? Wait, one, two, how many did I do? Three, this one? Uh, I can't even see it. Can I move it? What does it say? I might have missed. I know I had to take like a couple screenshots. Hold on, let me see. What's this one? Um, nope, not that one. I don't think. I want to find the one where T's talking. Oh, here we go. V needs a line of coke. Let's be real. <laughs> Do you guys see this? Do you see that? Super baby reindeer vibes. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. I just want, like, here you go. <laughs> Who is T? So Cal Connie said, T is the girl that Billy Lee is friends with that Billy Lee set up on a date with Tom Sandoval. They went bowling on season 11. They were, she was at Kyle Chan's party on the finale. Hold on, draw me, bitch. I've only seen pieces of Baby Reindeer. Can someone please tell me what that means? Okay, Baby Reindeer is about this stalker. It's a true story. The main character is the writer. And this actually happened to him where he was stalked by a woman who was already convicted. And I think she served time in prison for stalking. And she was stalking him hardcore. And it actually drove him so crazy to the point where there was like a reverse stalking situation like stalking the stalker and i was like oh my god that's something i totally would do um but yeah that's baby reindeer and yep that woman is suing netflix for 170 million dollars now because she's a lawyer apparently <laughs> even though how can you be a lawyer if you serve time in prison don't you like get that revoked or something Okay, let me see. Let's find the next screenshot. Oh my god, this is wild. Um, somebody mentioned the coal punch. Ah, T right here. You can see V. Please form a coherent sentence, girl. I'm praying for you. Oh, we need to hear from T. I hope T goes on Billy Lee's podcast. Can you believe I'm saying these words? If Joe was not on Billy Lee's podcast, I think it would have been a lot better. And I think T would be a lot better on Billy Lee's podcast than Joe was. What else? Is there anything else in this screenshot? What else did I get? Let's see. This might be the last one. Uh... Is there anything on this? I can't see. Oh, it's just the screenshot. That's why I took a picture. Because Kyle Chan took a screenshot of Billy Lee's text message to him right before he went on the live stream. And it says, V literally said you were fake and in love with Tom, and drugged him. How are you going on a podcast with her? You know how bad things got with 
Tom and V. I never said a word till she started commenting on shit. And then people in the chat were like, why is this a screenshot? And like, they forced him to show the real text messages. Oh my God, it was wild. It was wild. What else happened? Oh my God, I didn't know I could do this. I'm gonna do more lives. What else? Um, Billy Lee told Victoria that Kyle is obsessed with Tom. Yeah, we already knew that. Okay, let me. Wow, let me go through some comments. That was wild. Um, okay. Not live. Did a recording. We'll be taking notes for a response. I feel like Billy has piping hot tea to spill. Yeah, I think Billy's going to have another response for sure, right? She has to. And you know what? Like, <sighs> I feel bad for Kyle and Victoria because it, it didn't do what I think they wanted it to do. In fact, I think it did the opposite. And I believe they were filming at Kyle Chan's store. But I want to know who was in the room because there was somebody else. They obviously had like a camera set up. <clears throat> so was there like a PR person there? Let's not forget Tom Sandoval is filming the traitors. He posted, he posted the link in his stories on Instagram. I'm wondering if he's out of the game already. My biggest concern or like what I want to know personally the most is how all of this is going to affect the traders, the game. I need to know. And I have to wait like till January now. That live was wild. Yeah. My worst nightmare would be sitting in a room with Tom, Joe, Rachel, Billy Lee, and Victoria all trying to have a conversation. Oh my God, that was so painful. Kyle continuing to refer to Billy being trans to trash her personality, but then call her very pretty was so gross. Oof. Are these people our VPR future? <clears throat> Hi, kept. He kept interrupting. Wait, what? He kept interrupted Billy. I don't know what that means. Billy and T should do a one on one. Yes. Your comment about the cold plunge. We really thought we were done with Billy Lee after season 11. Yeah, it was brutal. T was comical. I like her. Yeah, Ariana asked how old T was. Um, a guy on Baby Reindeer drugged then essay the guy pretty much what Kyle was saying he was accused of is that what they meant kid out of the room for the sex scenes a fake little hair that woman is suing stalker vibes um Ariana clapped at T oh Someone said she just needs a bump and she'll function better. Dude, I... Th oh, okay. Let me talk about the last part. Oh, my God. Okay, so it was already wild. And I'm, like, sitting here thinking, like, oh, my God, I want this to end because it was stressful. <laughs> it was a lot. And in my mind, I think I'm a witch because I'm, like, when is she going to get up to do more drugs? And then she grabbed her phone and Adam said something like, Victoria, are you texting over there? And she's like, yeah, I was just telling Kyle that I have to pee. And, and it was so weird. She just like, she was doing like a double Dutch thing. Like I'm going to go, but okay. And then she like goes, but then she's, back on camera in less than a minute it might have been less than 30 seconds to the point where it's definitely impossible that she could have peed in that amount that amount of time 
So what did she do? Did she like, and oh man, then she comes back and she, they're trying to wrap up. She does another awkward, like double Dutch thing to get out. And then he's like standing up and waving goodbye. It was, wow, 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 wow. I feel like I'm on drugs. Oh my gosh. Should I go last? I mean, I just talked about it now. I guess I don't need to. Enough time to bump or swallow a pill. I guess I'm confused. Why do we care if she does coke? I don't care if she does, but like, she seems like she has a maybe a problem. She addressed the slurring. She said she's been in a bad car accident and that she doesn't do drugs. Do you guys believe that? When was this live? Like just now. Sorry, at 8 30. <laughs> Stop, Johnny V. I can't. Uh, dump time. She very well could be worse than Rachel. Scares me. Yeah. Rachel, Raquel Levis looks like a PhD next to Victoria. It was wild. What is going to come of this? How long was it? It was like almost two hours long. It was about an hour and a half, maybe. They also started about 10 minutes late. I think. Yeah. I was not prepared. It's already been a long week. I think I may have lost my voice a little bit. <laughs> what school did you go to? Don't go there. <laughs> I don't think she went to school because, oh, so then she also was talking about her homes and taking care of her father and she couldn't really give a straight answer. People just wanted to know, like, what is your job? And she said she used to be with a modeling agent or something up until last month. But before that, she was with Ford Models since she was 19 and she just kept saying I traveled the world I traveled the world but like gave us like zero details <laughs> was I mean how do we know it seems like she is making things up I mean maybe she's not but <sighs> I don't know this is nuts Victoria and Joe. Would Victoria and Joe even hang out? Would there ever be a situation where Victoria and Joe would be together? She couldn't remember anything or keep her story straight or her eyes open. Trucks are bad kids. Oh, man. Wasn't ready for this on a Friday night. I feel like I just went clubbing. I am like worn out. Mansion in the hills, but not with her dad, whom she needs an assistant because of her time. What is used by that? Is Kyle Chan still credible? I mean, Billy claims to have all the receipts, so. I mean, if I'm going to put my Judge Jenny hat on... Just like based on their demeanor, the words that came out from both sides, I feel like Billy is winning this one. Oh, man. I used to like Kyle, but I don't know what's going on with him now. Does it really take eight months to furnish a house? I mean, I've been in my place the same amount of time and my my bedroom is like the last thing I think for me I can't believe Kyle would wreck his rep by doing this I need to know if I they also didn't say if Tom Sandoval even knows what's going on Adam was saying because he's on the traders he doesn't 
have access to phones or anything, but I'm pretty sure that they get like one hour a day. And I don't know if that means like, here's a burner phone. Like, do you have your, is it like jail? Like, do you have to know your one phone call and memorize a phone number? Or do you get your cell phone back for an hour? Because I could do a lot of damage in an hour on my cell phone. So I need to know that kind of stuff because that plays into the game. Dorinda, Dolores, Sierra, they could all be getting this information during the game and be like, yo, we got to get this guy out of here. Banish tonight. That's how we're all voting. Like, that's what needs to happen. I, I need to see that. <sighs> Manifesting it. I'm witching it. Witching it into existence. Was his one time using the phone to post that? Yeah, see, and then that. Is Tom Sandoval posting that story on his Instagram or is somebody else doing it? Or is she using his phone? Stop it. <laughs> I hope the Bravo woman band together against Sandoval. Me too. Someone else likely posted the live post. Oh my God, is she using the phone? Stop. That is so, that creeps me out so much. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, the intervention. So first they're like, no, that didn't happen. But then it sounds like they did. Or at least Billy Lee's story seems accurate. She was trying to stage an intervention she had concerns. She went to Kyle Chan, said Victoria is doing drugs and this is, that's why Tom Sandoval is spiraling. And instead of Kyle Chan being like, yeah, let's have an intervention. He's like, that's not happening. And is sitting next to Victoria on the couch. Hmm. Pretty sure they don't just get a phone. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was your one phone call? <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. Why were Kyle and Ann serving the paid white cast members at the end of the reunion? <laughs> I know, it looked bad. It looked bad. Mm, what else? They're monitored? How do we watch? It's on YouTube. I love that Sandoval's coming home to a shit storm. You know he's going to blame everything in life on all of this when he gets back. Ugh. Speaking of clubbing, Zach from the Valley just posted Erica Jane performing at the Viper Room. Pulled all the housewives on stage? Stop it. Tom and Ariana didn't have furniture for over six months. It was a train wreck and I couldn't stop watching. Um, I can't wait to watch. I'll know in a minute if she's high. Yeah. The consensus was, it seemed like a lot of people thought that was accurate. They denied the intervention, then they admitted it. Yeah, that was weird, right? <sighs> so, this is so wild. Like, I cannot believe this happened. It's all Ariana's fault. Yeah, if Ariana didn't exist and have actual things like a bedroom and clothes, then nobody would be fighting over moving Ariana's stuff and none of this would have happened. Ariana, how dare you destroy Tom Sandoval's life? Uh, Tom should have helped serve. Yeah, he should have. <laughs> Off subject, but can we manifest you and Joe Coy? I got a shout out from Joe Coy today. I loved it. What's up, Cruz's mom? Sandoval is going to freak the fuck out. <laughs> Uh, 
She was high AF, and that's coming from someone who took six bong hits during the 10 minutes I actually listened. All That's from Jason and Donna Forever. All this while Ariana thrives on a beach in Fiji. Yes, just G. Ariana is winning so hard right now that it's like not even, it's not even a competition. What is this shitstorm even? Just Billy and Victoria arguing and maybe attempted an intervention? Yeah, I don't know why this is like a public argument. It's so messy and I don't know why we're all involved in it now. Is it possible he's already kicked off and home? When did they start filming? Great if Ariana is winning. Lala and Sheena are going to be losing their minds. Oh my gosh. Sheena's probably like, I should have had Kyle Chan and Victoria on. Right? They're all fighting over Ariana stuff. She still wins. If he's kicked off, that would be amazing. Last weekend they started. Yeah, he might be kicked off already. Wow, I didn't know I look this old without makeup. Okay. I think I need to go. I'm tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, well... Let's all have a good weekend, I guess. I'll check you all later.